This is a quick instructional video on how to set up your Spectrum SLT6 transmitter as a Real Flight controller for Real Flight Trainer Edition. I'll be using the trial version, but it's the same for the trial and the full version. In order to start up with the Real Flight, you do need to have a controller connected, so I'll turn on my transmitter first. I'll plug in my USB C cable, Windows will detect the controller, and I'll press play. That'll start up Real Flight Trainer Edition. I get a message to calibrate my controller. That's great. That's what I need to do. Uh, so we'll follow those instructions. I click next. It asks me to center the control sticks, which I'll do. I click next again. Move these sticks through their control range. It's only the sticks on this radio that matter because the rest are switches. And we click finish. Controller is now calibrated and we can click fly. Got the Habu STS up by default. If I throttle up, I should be able to take off. And in fact, here we go, taking off in experienced mode. Let's make sure that the panic mode, panic button works. So let's get this thing out of shape a little bit. Press panic, presto changeo, pulls, pulls back to level. Same thing if I flip it into beginner mode. Get my angle demand and angle limits. Can choose intermediate mode and I get angle limits. You can see those modes changing there. Let's check if the high rates work. So we'll go to experience mode, throttle up, start a roll. Let's high rates, low rates. Yep. See the roll rate change, and I've crashed. Should have used that panic button. And reset back on the runway. Make sure throttle cut works. I'm flipping my throttle cut switch on and throttling up. Nothing happens. Radio works great as the real flight controller. If for some reason real flight does not automatically detect it, you can choose select controller. Make sure that this SLT6 controller is selected. Make sure the Spectrum SLT6 wired USB profile is selected and click OK. You should be using the correct controller. That's also where you would calibrate your radio. That's how you use the SLT6. It should automatically detect and if it doesn't, I've given you the steps to pick it manually. I hope you enjoy Real Flight Trainer Edition and that the SLT6 does great for you.